Hi guys, so I just wanted to quickly film this little bit here just to say sorry for the focus of this video that it's kind of in and out the camera i was using didn't have a screen for me to see if it was in focus or not some of it is just that little bit out of focus but we get it in some parts and some parts we don't but that's filming by yourself with no screen to see through whereas normally i use my phone and i can see and everything's fine but yeah just wanted to quickly hop on and just say that before I potentially get comments saying that my ear is more in focus than the actual eye. So, yeah, enjoy. I probably had to film this intro about 10 times now because I never turned the mic on. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is something I've seen a lot of people do and I've been really wanting to do it. It is a Pride inspired makeup tutorial. It is Pride Month and I thought why not get creative and do a look that is vibrant, fun, bright, out there. I can't say that my look's gonna be amazing but yeah. Also we have a new setup for today's video. We have a HD camera and we've got my ring light again so hopefully this is crisp and clean and amazing and everything stays in focus because that is what we need. Also I want to say a huge huge thank you to Eyesight First because I just recently won one of their competitions on Twitter to win an outfit from their Love Island collection so I was able to pick this beautiful colour block jacket which has a bit of like dark pink and light pink and white and I've got the matching skirt to go with it so thank you to Eyesight First for that. Um, if you want to enter yourself into a competition then do just go onto their Twitter page which is at Eyesight First, I will leave it here and just turn on the notifications, they have them nearly every single night. This is no way, shape or form a sponsor video, I really wish it was, but I'm just giving you awareness that there is competitions that you can win to win some great clothes for summer. I hope you all enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Like always, we're going to be using the amazing Morphe and James Charles palette. This is my ride or die, my go-to palette, my everything. And also, oh, also it is a great palette to use for this month because look at all the colours. The colours are just stunning. You've got pinks and reds and yellows and greens and oranges and everything you need for this look. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. So we're going to do the pride flag in half. So one eye is going to be yellow, orange and red and the other is going to be green, blue and purple and then put the red, orange, yellow under this eye and the blue and purple and the green under this eye. So hopefully it all works. Fingers crossed we don't look like a sunset. So I'm just going to take a Morphe M456 brush and I'm going to just take the colour B and just start to pat that into the crease and just really make sure that we're packing it on to get the colour as vibrant as possible and just blend it all up. So really I'm just focusing that on the inner third and just blending it up. Okay so I had to get Jess to um, focus that for me but now we're fully zoomed in. Okay I'm gonna take another M456 brush and the colour 518 and just start to blend that in here. Also just going to take a clean M441 brush, just blend the edges just so we can get that looking snatched. <laughs> and then I'm going to take another M456 brush and take the red colour from the palette and just start to circle that around. No, really, I'm just going to pack on the red that we've got here. And then again, just blend it really lightly. Then I'm just going to get the orange again, blend it back through. 
through just so we can get the vibrant colors back and then again just yellow brighten it all up just that little bit more amazing so i'm just going to blend all my colors just really lightly so that i'm barely touching here i'm going to go in with the other eye now because I want to do all of these together before I move on to the next step. I'm gonna take an M433 brush and I'm gonna take the green that's in the palette, so the lightest green, and just start to pack that where we pack the yellow. I'm worried we're not gonna get the same effect as the other eye because we're using bigger brushes, so we'll just have to see. Then I'm going to take another M433 brush and I'm going to mix the lightest blue with a little bit of the darkest blue. But majority of the lightest blue needs to be on the brush. And we're just going to start mixing that in where we put the orange. So it's basically identical on the other side and mix it in to the green. And I'm using a very, very light hand. I don't want to be too harsh. going to take a clean, very clean M441 brush, just blend these two colours together and just blend the blue out the tiniest little bit. And then I'm going to take the final M433 brush and just take the darkest and lightest purples and just mix them together and just start to apply them on the outer third. Gonna use again just a little bit of that blending brush just to blend out the edges here of the purple. I'm really liking how this is turning out and it's so quick to do. So I'm just gonna blend all the colours together so we get a nice little blend. And I'm just gonna do the same on the other side with these as well. Okay, I'm gonna take now an M124 brush and just my collection concealer. And we're just gonna start to conceal and basically cut the crease. I'm just gonna take the red and just blend here. We don't want to lose some of the outer red that we've got going on. Obviously we will top it up a little bit once the whole thing is done. Now please don't come at me for cut creases, they are not my forte, I don't like doing them, they're the hardest thing for me to do, so please don't come for me, because I hate them. I'm just going to get my dark colours and just blend them just into the crease that we've created. People are going to say, what was the reason of doing a cut crease when you're just going over it? But for me, it's mainly just so I know where I'm putting my shimmer shades because that's what it's mainly about for me, just the shimmers. And people are going to come for me saying that it's not blended out, but at the end of the day, we're limited on time and all that jazz. Okay, so I think we're all done with the eyes so far. Don't know what that voice was. <laughs> okay, so I basically just realized that the majority of that was out of focus, so I'm really sorry, and I do not want to take this off and restart again, so you're kind of just going to have to deal with it. So we've had to zoom out. We're going to have fun editing this. But yeah, we've now zoomed out. We've done eyeliner. Hopefully, this all looks somewhat okay for you all um i am kind of liking the look we've gone for but yeah we're gonna put eyelashes on hopefully eyelashes fix it all because yeah fingers crossed because i'm getting pissed off now um the camera just stopped recording for some reason and i'm not entirely sure why but basically all you missed was me complaining about my eyeliner and that it is too big so to try and um get over that we are going to do eyelashes, so I'm just going to use my eyelash curlers and then use the Lush Sensational from Maybelline and then we're going to apply some eyelashes. I'm not going to heat the lash curlers up, but however, I did say in my last video that when you heat them up, they curl them and stay for longer. 
and I have seen that because my eyelashes have stayed curled for a good two and a half days now. So I'm just going to curl them because it doesn't really matter that much just because we will be putting eyelashes on. But so far I'm loving how this looks turned out. We have obviously applied some shimmer as well which I believe we may have missed as well. So for that we applied ring light from the James Charles palette. So we've just done that. But now I'm going to apply these lashes. So basically these lashes are a mixture of two Isla lashes. We've got 117 and also some fluttery ones. I can't remember what the numbers were, but I will leave it all down below anyway. So you can definitely check them out. I'm just gonna apply some mascara. Just to apply these lashes, I am using my little tool from Primark, which I raved about in so many videos when I came back. So definitely get it. It's like one or two pounds and it's absolutely insane. It's better than applying with tweezers. I've stuck two sets of lashes together here because we want a more fuller look. So the first lashes, which are the fluttery ones, I'm kind of not, I'm a, I'm a fan of them. Um, but not that big of a fan of them. So what I did was I applied my 117s and they've just made them look really full and wispy now. They look like they are high-end eyelashes. So they're really good. We're just gonna apply them on. They just pull the eye looks together, I really think. And also, they honestly just make the eyeliner look a whole lot better. So, I'll live in for that. Okay, so we're going to go on to foundation now and do the base. So, I'm going to take the Maybelline New York Fit Me foundation in the colour 220. And I'm just going to take that on the big foundation brush from Morphe on the M439. And I'm just going to buff it all into the skin. Also, I have a spot right there on my chin and I feel like it's bringing my face. I've got like a huge lump in my face. And now, again, I'm going to be taking my collection concealer and applying that all under the eyes. Just to brighten it all up that little bit. And then I'm just going to take an M173 and just blend it all out. Then I'm just going to take the corner of my beauty blender, bounce it all in. We're just going to go ahead now and take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C13. We hardly have any left, but I cannot buy any more because I have no money. I'm going to take my Rimmel Match Perfection powder in translucent and my Morphe brush in which is E48. Then we're going to take the Makeup Revolution bronzer in the colour number one cool. Then we're going to take the Imogen Nation palette and take Limited Edition and Angel Face, mix them both together. And just take a small E506 brush, apply the highlighter on the inner corners of the eyes as well. And then I'm just going to go back into the James Charles palette, so we're going to mix it around. So we're going to apply the yellow and apply that here. Then get the orange and then get the red. I'm gonna blend all them together and then just do the exact same on the other eye with the other three colours. Last but not least, we're going to apply my all-time favourite lip combo, MAC Saw Lip Liner, Velvet Teddy and Fenty Beauty Gloss.
three hours later. And this is the finished look, guys. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a huge thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss a post. Also, comment down below, let me know what you think, if you like this makeup look, if you're going to Pride, if you are, which Pride are you going to? And yeah, make sure you share this with your friends. All links will be down in the description below. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye.